Well, hey folks, PC7 here, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to some more Hold Your Own, a really interesting survival crafting game available on Steam's Early Access. As you can see, I have built us a nice little hut to live in. Here's our door. It's kind of dark out there. Well, okay, maybe I <laughs> haven't quite built a hut, but I have a, a wall, and I have a door. <laughs> <laughs> Beyond that, no. But what I do have is something very important, and kind of my first little not terribly impressed with this mechanic of the game. And that is that you reach a point where, as you can see from our active quests, it tells you, well, build a forge. Now, a forge, it, it's not an easy thing to build. It's placeable. And, yeah, it's made out of rocks and clay. But, it's also made out of a bellows. And the problem with the bellows is... And, again, I cannot advance any further in this game without completing this forge. See, the problem with the bellows is it needs these. You know, kill an animal, you're gonna get that. You know, anybody knows what iron looks like. This is... me. Not the easiest one to get, but again, it's not difficult. This, however can only be found in random drops, uh, pack sacks, garbage bags. So yeah, it's not even an item that you would capture from one of the enemies, it's a random drop. So I spent, I think we're on what, day, day three, I spent about a day and a half just simply searching for this one component. But look, I have a bellows, which means we can go back to here we can go to here, and I just need to grab some stone and some clay. And guess what? We will be able to uh, go upward and onward. Uh, stone and clay. New. Well, we knew it would be one of these. Alright, there's stone. We need 50. So, oops. Um... Oh, actually, we need 50. I'm going to take that stack. And we need clay. All right. And a bellows. Okay. That should do it. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Let's get out of that. Let's go into our inventory. And let's go down to our placeables. Let's look at a forge. We have, we have, we have. So... Craftemundo. Three minutes. Three minutes. Indeed. Now, arrows are something that uh, I kind of require as uh, tools. Here we go. Arrows. How can we do? Uh, needed in stock five. I need a bit of wood. A bit of wood. And we're going to take a little more stone as well. Alright, let's go back in here, let's go to arrows, there we are, we can craft a ton, and you get two, that's really, you know, for an entire log and a stone, two arrows, gee buggers, <laughs> so, let's craft ourselves up 20 of them, because I'm down to five. And bows are about your best bounce for the buck in this thing, let me tell you. So yeah, let's craft those as well. Alrighty. We are mere minuits from our next adventure. So Yeah, a little bit dark out here, I do apologize. But like so many... Uh, so many big sandbox worlds, it has both a night and a day. Yeah, I don't think we yet qualify for uh, anything as amazing as... Uh, here, let me... There you are. Anything as amazing as this. Although I think it comes up very soon. I believe once we get the forge down, our next thing, yeah, will uh, start us on the way towards that. 
Now, what do we got going on with my fire? Because it shouldn't be running if it doesn't need to be. Oh. Uh, nothing, eh? Alrighty. Uh, is there anything I need? Not really. I'm good on most stuff. So let's just shut that off. Because that's crazy. That is crazy. Yes, indeed. Alright. Uh, now... <coughs> No, that's placeables. We can create workbench. Okay, I guess you don't get it out of here. But there is an item that will actually allow you to create... Well, not create water. will allow you to create drinkable water. Uh, yeah, it's not in there either. Because luckily everything is... Uh, hmm. Alphabetical. Alright, so yeah, I think you actually need uh, the workbench. Ah, we've completed it. Reward is five iron ingots. Very nice. Alright, let's get our forge put down. Now, uh, six, eh? Okay, here we are. Now we can make such amazing things as glass jar, gold currencies, all of our ingots, nice nails, and screws. So, we are certainly on our way. Now, glass. For glass, I need sand. Okay. Uh, there are, of course, other things here of great value to us, but... Um, And sand, you can make from stones. But, uh, I think we have some. So let's have a look. Alright, I do have some sand. Although, as you can see, not a tittable, tittable much of it. In fact, I think that's enough for one glass, isn't it? Yikes. E. Let's open our forge. Let's throw the sand in there. Alrighty. Uh, throw some stone in there as well. Oh, come on now. There we go. Let's add fuel. Boom. That's only going to burn for 12 minutes. Alright, now glass. Alright, let's uh, craft. 8 seconds. And a glass jar requires, oh, 10 of those? Oh my goodness. Okie dokie then. Well, sand. Hmm. Oh, well, at least it gives you five. I guess that's better than nothing, isn't it? Alright, let's come out of here. Let's come out of here, indeed. So, let's see, one thing we definitely need to build here very soon, in placeables, is a workbench. But I need 20 iron ingots. Hmm. So, let's take 100 iron, and let's place that in there as well. Boom. And iron ingots. Ooh, five, eh? So we'll be able to cast 20. And we'll put that into the queue as well. That's going to take us 10 minutes. Lovely. But that will give us enough for a workbench. So, yeah. Uh, let's throw this in here as well. All right. <coughs> My apologies. Now, it's, it's, it's kind of odd that they uh, do link those two events, you know what I mean? Like, you've got to have something that is absolutely RNG to 
proceed any further. Oh, it looks like a workbench is the next thing they'd like us to actually have. So, cool. I'm going to uh, do something else here while we're booting a boot. Let's grab that. Now let's make sure we've actually got some fuel in there. There we are, a half hour's worth of fuel. Yeah. We wouldn't have actually been go through both of these if we'd left it the other way. Alrighty. So we are going to be wanting to gather lots of stone and lots of sand to make lots of glass for glass jars. Because once we get the workbench put together, there is going to be an item we're going to want to build, as I said. There's a water collector. And, see, because that, that's salt water. And even if I have containers and I fill them, they won't allow me to craft water. They'll allow me to craft salt. Yeah. That's not exactly... Ah, look what I see. There is a bag on the beach. Do, 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 do. I actually prefer an animation than when he's got something in his hand. There we are, he doesn't look quite as weird. <laughs> Alright, what do we get? Really? Really? Is that why you made it so easy? <laughs> Probably, you know. Alright, let's gather some stone here. I thought I was doing really good with iron when I had, uh, you know, over a stack, but a stack of iron ore only makes 20 ingots. Not sure, but if it's uh, 20 ingots just to make the workbench, I can only imagine there will be recipes that harsh or harsher to come. So, there we go. We have some stone, and that's nice and fair. And we're basically just waiting for, uh, time to pass. Man, my frames are almost, uh, intolerable here. You know, down to the, uh, high 20s. And I do notice as well, the more that I play, um, how much balancing really needs to be done in this thing. You know, um, it does show signs of one of, well, what I almost hate to call, but do, a common error amongst these sort of games, and that's that you seem to uh, continuously burn through more calories than the average human could possibly manage. You know, you're all the time eating, drinking, eating, drinking, drinking, eating, eating, drinking. You know. I mean, granted, smacking rocks with a pickaxe is very taxing work, and you will certainly burn the calories. But, yeah. It does seem to need a little fine-tuning, at least in my opinion. Alright, I can't pass these up. These are the uh, best trees in the place. Easiest on the tools. That's why I like them. I mean, it's not that you know, hitting a tree ten times takes a lot of effort or time. It is just so much easier on the tools. And I love the fact that it's daylight at three in the morning here. Whoa, let's get ourselves out of the way. Alright. I've spotted something, I think. Oh, maybe not. I thought I saw a pack up here, but it turns out it's uh, a plant. Hello. <laughs> oh, yeah. You keep yelling like that. The only thing you're going to do is attract yourself a wolf. <laughs> yeah. And believe me, I suck with my bow compared to what a wolf will do to you. So. Now there is somewhere on this island a large motel. 
and that's something we are going to have to keep uh, keep an eye out for. Because I think once we get our work table bent, uh, built, yeah. I don't like hearing wolves that I don't see. You know? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. It doesn't seem to be anything following me. But I was sure I heard him growl again. So. Yes, you're a cow. We're happy for you. <laughs> uh, hmm. I thought I passed a uh, corn plant. You know. There's the wolf. He doesn't seem to care much about the cow. But unfortunately... Um, Good. He hurt me pretty good, didn't he? Yeah. Alright. Um, I think it takes three shots with the bow and you can put the wolf down. So, I mean, I was close. I was close. Hmm. Of course, I'm pretty hurt now. Dang. Not good. Not good. Huh. Alright, well, let's, uh, let's hobble home. Uh, and hopefully our kit will be done for us. Yes. Yeah, the bow, at least as a starting thing, seems to be about the uh, strongest weapon you can get. Oh, look. Nice. What a bar. Ah, oh, I love it, murky water. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's two more jugs of water we have. Because those you can just throw in your campfire and turn them into good water. Unlike uh, any other method. Wow, another pack. Jeez. Oh, look at that. Mechanical parts. I wish it had been that easy the first time I needed them. That they were, you know, 75 meters from camp. No. They were not. Let me tell you. I wish it was a little more game to hunt, too. You know. I mean, there is lots of game on the island, but I'd like to see, like, subsistence for something along the range of, uh, you know, rabbits, chickens, that sort of thing. Some slightly smaller one-arrow targets. Is it more? All right. So... We can. Oh, I've got four more waddle, waddles. Four more waddles there. But we can put this in here. And then that will allow us to create two of those. Bang. Okay. And... Raw meat, we can put that in here. Uh, what else? Got it. eggs. Uh, I would imagine animal fat should probably go in there. I'm not sure what we do with it. I don't know that anything in here. Hmm. Okay. 
Let's shut that back off. There we are. 15 bottles of water. Wowzer, man. Absolute wowzer, bowser. Alright, are you ready? You. Ooh, 6 minutes and 11 seconds left to go. Hmm. Okie dokie. We have a thousand nine hundred. Wow. We got a lot of sand, so glass. Max. Look at that, eh? It's going to give us 38. Mind you, that's times 5, isn't it? So that should be pretty good. Um, Alright. That's going to take 620. That's going to take another. So we need about 12 minutes. Yeah, we're good. We are good. So. Hmm. Oh, did I uh, unload all of that stone I grabbed? No, I did not, did I? 60 stone, eh? There we go. There we go. Alright. Oh. <laughs> I'm not... Uh, let's throw this in here. Uh, we can throw these in here. That's about it, I believe. Um, yeah. Let's uh, let's give ourselves some top ups. Let's drink that and that, that, and that, that, that. All right. Now. What do we got? There we are, some empty. I need, I believe, 20 of these to build that water capture thing. So, yeah, something to keep in mind. And what have you got? You carry these, don't you? No, 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 you don't. You're strictly nug stuff. You carry these. And these. That. What's that? Oh, very good, very good, very good. These, I believe, you can actually sell to the trader broken tools. Yeah, I think so. So we're going to hang on to them. There we go. Indeed. All right, things are looking good. We've got lots of food. We've got lots of water. So let's have a little explorer, shall we? Go into Yogger's mode. And see what there is to see. Ooh, not much down this beach. Now I'm going to follow this cut up the hill and see where it takes us. Mainly because it's such a great landmark. Up. Oh. Not sure where he is, but closer than I'm comfortable. Ah, there he is. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I understand, dude. I understand. You're very upset that I'm that close to your territory. Cool. Good on you. Okay, I think he stopped track of me. So. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately that cut kind of peters off out here, doesn't it? Comes up this way. You will regret this. Uh oh. Did you hear that? There was a person. <coughs> wow. I can't believe that happened that quickly. I sense danger. You sense danger, do you? So, at least I do respawn here on my, uh, on my bed. So what's the deal? Okay, I already put everything away, so good thing. Okay, why will you not draw your bow? Come on. Thank you. Hmm. 
And will that sort of suck it? No. I should have the volume turned up a little bit more on this, I think. Because I didn't hear him until I was right on top of him. Him, her, whatever it was. It sounded like a guy. Hmm. Of course, I'm not exactly sure where they are or were. I mean, who knows? I may never see them again. Hmm. Yeah. Very, very quiet. I'm hunting rabbits. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. There's no rabbits on this island, man. Maybe one short hunt. Alright, let's grab some iron. Come on. Um, huh, that's weird. It does it that way, but it's not responding to actually touching the keys. Can't say I'm a fan of that. Is that copper? No, just a rock. You just a rock, man. Yeah, see, I press five, but I actually have to uh, roll the mouse over to five. I don't know where he... Oh, God! No! Oh, come on. I can't believe everything's killing me. Probably almost out of arrows by now. My bow is just about worn out. Um... <laughs> Maybe I'll stay home for a while. Is this iron ready? Um, yes, it is. Awesome. All right, so we should be able now to make a workbench. Inventory. Uh, Blazables, a hork bench. Okay. Oh, we need lots of planks and we need some wooden pillars as well. So. We'll get down to the wooden. Oh, let's see how many we've got in stock before we start wasting supplies. Um, none, but I'm going to grab some wood because if I need to make planks, I'm going to... Well, we need wood. Alrighty. So, nothing in there. Clickety-click, bang, boom. Nothing in there. That's all nug parts. Planks, 32. I get a feeling that's a pretty dang good start. That's empty. All right. Now, it'll work old bench. Boom. Workbench. We need four pillars. So, wooden pillars. Wood planks. Hmm. Building. Wood door frame. Ah, wooden pillar. Thank you. We need two, three, four. Craft. 19 seconds. Excellent. Excellent. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tack. All right, let 
let us craft a workbench. Excellent. Uh, needed, good, good, and good. Boom. Three minutes, eh? Man. Yeah, I definitely need to, uh, next time around, come up with a little more volume on this so I can hear these things before they're right on top of me. What do I see there? Oh, that's a deer, eh? Hmm. Well, hello, Dixie. What are you yanking on my chair for? Good heavens, you're almost pulling me out of the chair, kitty. Enough. Lord. You're shaking me back and forth so hard I can barely see my screen. There we go. I can blame the kitty if I miss the next wolf. <laughs> hmm. So yeah, we'll get this workbench put down, and then I think, uh, like I said, I believe the quest after that is going to send us off looking for a traitor. I thought I heard growling again. Maybe it's not so much the volume, but my yapping all the time. <laughs> it's drowning out the sound of animals sneaking up to kill me. Kill me dead. I'm just seeking out high ground to see if I can spot any buildings. And from what I've been able to determine, buildings and the enemies contained therein spawn new every morning. So if you go in and clean out a building and everything that lives in it, it'll come back. Garbage bags and all. There's a deer, but the problem is, as soon as I hit him, he's just going to run away. So unlike the other animals, I want to be as close to a deer when I put off my first shot as possible. Whereas, of course, it ah, excellent, the workbench is ready. Alrighty, let's go back. Yes, you rescue the traitor. So, now we embark upon... Ah. Now we embark upon the quest that's gonna require us to... Uh, <laughs> really? Ooh, I thought you ran out of sight the first time. That's why I put me bow away. Yeah, chicken, where are you? So I guess there are chickens, it's just they're, you know, invisible. It's one thing I do appreciate in subsistence, as unrealistic as it may appear to be to have things, um, you know, with numbers hovering over their head. It makes things that are shorter than the grass around you a lot easier to see. Like the rabbits and chickens in subsistence. Most of the time, you're going to end up spotting them by the little green number floating by. Now, they do keep it nice and low-keyed. It's not like it's laser green and it's at, you know... No, no, it's a dull green and it's at almost full opacity, so... All right. We are workbench bound. I even know where I'm going to place it. How's that for special? All right, let's do this thing. Wahoo. Inventory. The workbench. Boom. Alrighty. And let's go. Wrong way. There we are.
Uh, here we are. Now we've got a bunch more stuff we can do. Empty container. Uh, okay. Advanced workbench. An anvil. Now this is something I really need, is an anvil. But we need 20 more iron ingots. And 10 planks. Well, 10 planks I can manage. But, uh, yeah. Batteries, beakers, wires, seats, empty cans, fish hooks. We can now make our own mechanical parts. Saw bench. Pig hut, cow barn, chicken coop. Mm hmm. Here it is, the water tank. Yeah. We need three iron ingot. Oh, these aren't iron? Sure they are. I got five in stock. What do you mean? Oh. Boom. We need two copper ingots. I can do that. We need 15 scrap plastic and six screws. Now, problem with a screw mold is it'll only give me five screws, won't it? Yeah. Hmm. Well, that's the next thing I want to work towards is that water collector. It's incredibly important. But we are uh, we are a step ahead. I have died a couple times, but uh, well, that's the price you pay. <laughs> Anyways, hope everybody enjoyed the episode. I'm going to call it here, and uh, well, we'll do better the next time with any luck at all. I think I'm going to have to uh, change the settings to not losing anything on dying doesn't seem quite fair. I think we should at least drop our backpack. So, till next time, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Enjoy yourselves, take care of each other, and, uh, well, ciao for now.